Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am the two-time, two-time, the box of the world, I mean the boxes with a crooked do Doctor Strange 2 that I just fixed. I'm going around, I'm on my holiday, so I want to check out a lot of different things. And I'm going to start here at Canada's longest pier, White Rock Pier, and I'm bringing in the reinforcements. Hello, hello. I am the one-time the Box of War Ring Autistic Chef, David Leahy. I'm glad to be back. It's been a while, eh? Yeah, the, I think the last video we did was, um, would have been like a Christmas one, actually. Yeah, that was like, uh, or no, yeah, back at the old house, yeah. Yeah, and uh, you've moved since then. Yes. Uh, Dealing with some stuff, but yeah, things are good, though. Yeah, so, um, let's get down to business right away. Let's, let's see how long this pier is. Let's go. Nice. Oh, that's the ocean. There's actually, there's one, um, there's a pier actually, um, somewhere in, um, on Salt Creek. You can go up, you can go like, way into the middle of the ocean. You can see all around. It's on Salt Creek. It's beautiful. They have a really, really big one. Uh, like, uh, it's not like as big as this one, but, but it's like, it's on Salt Spring. You can walk around it. It's really cool. But not pepper summer or pepper winter. Yeah. Get it? Salt spring? Ah, oh, Jesus. God damn it. My yeah. jokes just appear out of nowhere. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we should do the sleep with the, the fishes challenge next. Throw you over the pier with a, with a couple um couple of uh, bricks tied to you. Well, well there are witnesses, so I'm sure the, the police are in, you would see to it that you would get caught. <laughs> caught? Oh, that's... Jesus. Oh, Lord. You know why I torment you with these jokes? Why? Just for the halibut. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, part of my language with that, I swear, but... Oh. You know, it, it's almost like uh, when Taichu Bob's stepping on the rigs. <sighs> whack. Yeah. Turns around, whack. <sighs> Anyone goes like I have an aneurysm, I swear to God, I have an aneurysm one of these days from all these bad, bad dad jokes. I swear to God. I have an aneurysm all these bad dad jokes. Holy crap, it's long. Look at the ocean. It's clear. Look how clear it is out there. It's beautiful. How clear it is. I didn't think it was, it was that clear. It's very pretty. Yeah, not, not a lot of places where it's like this clear, right? Yeah, no, no, not really. It's rare to see it like this. It's very rare to see it this clear. You know, you talk about the view here, David. Yeah. I I think I can see the states from here. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> hey, US, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> the US to fuck off. There you go. US, hey, US, it's my ass. So, so I'm gonna be 39 and oh, very soon, I hear. Right. Yeah, I'm coming up actually in a couple of days, my 39th birthday. There you go. Yeah, and for those of you who are um, who want to know what that means, it's a common, it's a running joke that since I've never actually had a girlfriend, that every Valentine's Day I'm like I have no date, and like for me, the whole joke is that we have to count every Valentine's Day, even when I was like five months old. So it's like, okay, no, no, we're gonna go in on this. We're gonna dive all the way in. Damn right, 39 and You better than the Undertaker, holy smokes. Yep. Where are you not in the Hall of Fame yet? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure there's a big difference between um, pro wrestling and not getting any. Probably, probably pretty deep, but going not that bad. 
probably have to chest him. Probably have to chest maybe at least. What do you think? Hmm. Maybe, maybe a little deeper than that. I'm probably deep, deep, deep. swimming. I'm like, ah, I'll be underwater in that. Look, you need fairies. Probably. Might see some fairies, maybe. You never know. Hmm. So, uh, I hear you're tinkering with, like, some Halloween, uh, type stuff. Uh, yeah, I want to do a couple videos for Halloween. Um, my, uh, friend Jonathan wants to do, um, some Poe, um, something about the Red Death or something. Hmm. And then, me, I'm going to do my, do the Raven, because it's a personal favorite of mine. Also, I'm going gonna, gonna to read the Legend of Sleepy Hollow, because I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of the uh, lore of Ichabod Crane and the uh, Head of Horseman. So that's in the work too. Plus also I'm um, going to do some soup videos. Getting into the fall weather. So we're going to do, um, I want to do beef barley soup. And also going to do uh, Dave's famous uh, Swippy ham soup. Plus also uh, I have a couple of Christmas things I'm going to do. Um, that I'm going to, I want to record for Christmas. Gonna do, I want to do a ratatouille. It's good for Christmas gifts, and then also, um, put in soup, so. We've done Jambalaya already, so do I need to redo it again? Nah. So that's what I, that's in, in the docket right now. So, I am, and I also still am uh, posting uh, short videos on my on my channel, if you guys wanna watch. So, just shorty, just little shorty videos, but I am still working, just so people know. And how about you? Ah, uh, well, I did the P&E video with Paul a couple weeks ago. Uh, that was actually first, my first time back filming, like, not gaming-wise for a, lo a long time. And that just, it felt really nice to just get back out filming again. Uh, yeah, a lot of Skyrim stuff is up on my channel. I just finished the Companions uh, faction quest line. And that, uh, otherwise, just... Lots of work at the aquarium. Maybe, oh, um, might do some smoking video, maybe a couple of smoking videos too, maybe. Maybe. I think. Uh, won't that give us cancer? <laughs> Not that kind of cancer, you knucklehead. Like, 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 uh, like food smoking kind. That's what I'm thinking. Well, will, will that give the food cancer? No, it gives a flavor, <laughs> But we can, no. But I have a couple ideas in my head. I want to do, um, gonna get do some cheese. I smoke some cheese. There we go. And some sausage. It's just a garlic coil sausage, but we use that for the uh, jambalaya. Yeah, I So, a little trick I learned. Yeah, exactly. For smoking into you know, the party. So, that's, that's what I got planned right now. But we'll see. Maybe I'll do more. Maybe. See what happens. Maybe I'll even throw in a couple other ones down the road. You never know. So stay tuned, guys. See what happens. Keep walking. Well, this is about the length you can probably start to Sometimes you can shoot to uh, see what the fish is. Hmm. Sleep with the fishes. Under the sea. I'm thinking the uh, Simpson version. God damn it! I'm thinking the Simpson version came in my head. <laughs> Just friendly crustaceans under, under the, the sea. sea. I got that version in my head now. Maybe. I can't remember. Take a whole fifth in here. Holy shit. Brady's gonna break it like. Ah! 
Hey, if anything, it's gonna collapse under my weight. Yeah, what are you like, 500 pounds? 600? And that's after losing a couple hundred pounds. <laughs> yeah. You're so fat. I'm fat. I'm fat. I know it. You're so fat, your blood type's ragu. <laughs> there you go. Do some do your fat jokes. <laughs> I don't have a blood sugar level. I have a sugar blood level. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you, I, I have a really bad one, but I don't want to go that far. So it also was never gonna happen, too. <laughs> so I'm not gonna say it. Pigeons, pigeon. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Here's. Yeah, and here's where it starts to get um. Blue one. Yep. And folks, we're here at the end of the pier. Yep, we are. So I'll check the footage and hopefully put up how long it took for us to get up to get up here. Beautiful view, though. Just a hell of a view. I'm gonna take all photos here. I don't know about you, but I think this place rocks. <laughs> <laughs> so we've made it to the end of the pier folks so as you can see here the view the the view is phenomenal outstanding yeah always love the, the fresh sea air always always like that fresh sea air can never go wrong with that. What a view. Let's see, let's see the Americans, we see the American side. Hi losers, fuck you. Up you, you hosers. <laughs> see what he did, I called them hosers, just like I called us hosers. Hey shit, you American douchebags. <laughs> there you go. And then of course they show back, you know about douchebags, you're standing next to one. <laughs> yep. And David was right, he spotted some growth in there. I'm not sure how well you guys can see it, but there is a little, little bit of greenery in there. Yeah, so this pier, definitely worth coming here at least once for the views. Maybe not a place I'd like regularly come back to, but definitely worth checking out at least once. Canada's longest pier. Absolutely. It's beautiful here. What a view. It's a hell of a view. I definitely would recommend it as well. So, if you get a chance to come here, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend, recommend highly. Thanks. Start walking. Yep, so let's go back. I'm going to ask that, I'm asking if that, if that actually, um, that line, I'm kind of curious. Okay, I think we should leave now, because this place is clearly for the birds. Yeah, no shit. That pigeon. <laughs> Get it for the birds. For the birds, yep. Careful, we'll turn a Hitchcock movie. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we checked out the pier, and I'm actually a little curious about um, what's around this just this general area here. And you can see the pier actually right over there to give you an idea to how far we are. Yeah. There it is. And I'm sort of wondering how we got, or how the city got the name White Rock. And I wonder if it, if it has anything to do that. with that White Rock right over here. Yeah. If it was Black Rock, uh, it would be, uh, we'd be in World of Warcraft. Hmm. Uh, World of Warcraft reference. Yeah, I suck. I 
one more for, for the camera. Find a flat one. Just a little bit. Eh, close enough. It's not that bad. Some beef for you. All right. Okay, so we're getting hungry, so we're gonna check out a local place called Charlie Don't Surf. So I asked about the, uh, the refer name of the uh, restaurant and where it came from. It's a reference to um, uh, Colonel Kilgore from Pacos Now, Charlie Don't Surf. So, I was actually, I was guessing that's where I came from, so, and I was right, so, there you go. Okay, this is how the bacon cheeseburger looks. And that's how David's pizza looks. Do you want to take a bite from the camera, or do you want to Yeah, yeah sure. Thing? Good. Tuna fry though. Mm. You ain't tuna fry. Mm. Two one fry. Sorry, you mind? Yeah, no problem. Good fries. I don't have my dad. Music. Hmm. Hey, how are you with spicy stuff? Good. Want this? I don't, I don't like that spicy, but I like some spicy. Hmm. I like the balance here. I don't like to kill people. So let's see. Okay, I'm going to take a bite. You actually do this here. The late ones are early. How is it? Good. The flavoring works really well together. Like the sauce, the beef, the cheddar, it's like bacon, it all comes together really well. Yep. I'm going to continue eating, so I'll be back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we finished that Charlie Don't Surf, and we're going to now see what else is out here. Yeah, let's go. Let's walk around. Technically summer. Yeah. 
Okay, folks, um, we're going to make one last stop for this video. Yep. It's still summer. So, we, we want to finish off summer on my channel. Ice cream. Yeah. We're going to some ice cream, folks. 50 flavors. Actually, look, there's only 60, 60, 40, actually. Hmm? 60, 40. Look, there's only 60, 40, actually. Yeah. Well, up to 64 now, so. Sweet. Let, let's try. So you see David here has already started in on his uh, Sorry. cone. So what flavor did you get? Mint chocolate chip. And in, in my defense, I'm a mentaholism. <laughs> Hello, my dear, I'm, I'm a mentaholic. It's a family thing. That's my, that's my excuse. I'm sticking to that one. Or, or, hi, my name is David and I'm a mentaholic. Yes, I am. That's very true. I am a mentaholic. <laughs> and now my turn. I went for the Nanaimo fudge brownie cone. You know what, it's actually what you would expect it to taste like. Amazing. Yeah, I love Nanaimo, Nanaimo bars. The only thing I would change would be I'm not a big coconut guy, but it's actually one of the few things in the world that I will actually tolerate coconut for is uh, Nanaimo bars. Oh, well, this has been a hell of a video, eh? Yep. It's been fun. Yep. Thank you, Disco. It's been thank you for bringing me out here. It's been a blast. Oh, I've had a good time too. This is to the last day of summer. Salute. Yep. All right. So until next time, I'm a, the one talk tasty chef, winning uh, David Leahy. And I'm the two time, two time the box of the award winning the box said. And I want to enjoy my ice cream cone. All Bye, right. everybody. See you next time. Later. <laughs>